Hello and welcome. I'm going to replace my Gibson pickups and electronics with EMGs and therefore I need to remove all of these cables from PCB. So I unplug or disconnect uh, output jack and now I disconnect a uh, grounding wire. I need pliers to disconnect or unplug uh, neck and bridge cables and it didn't matter if I damage them the only one that is that is important for us in this process is this black one in the middle which is connect to pickup selector so I need to be careful with it and after a while I could um, easily unplugged it. So on this side I need to remove knobs. Some of them come off easily while you need to use cloud, wrap around the knob and just pop it off. And I use this um, uni wrench to remove all of the knots that I need to be removed. And after that you are able to remove the whole PCB or printed circuit board. I must say, I never touch electronics there, and that's the reason I'm very careful. And you need also use this uni range from Downloop to remove the output jack. So from this side, you need to open or loose the nut and remove the nut and the washer. So it will come off easily from inside and as you can see there is no shielding in this guitar and that grounding wire didn't connect well to the bridge so that was the source of the grounding noise so last but not least you need to remove um, those old pickups and I just need to show you that there's two different types of screws uh, the longest one is for bridge position and the shortest one is for neck position. Uh, I didn't want to change the strings because they were fairly new and I made them very very loose and I did remove the pickups off screen which is going to happen several times in this video as you can see it's 490R and I need to unscrew it again from this frame or mounting ring and I need to explain something else the mounting ring should be in this position, which means the thin side should be towards the neck and the thick side should be towards the bridge. Don't forget that. As you can see, it's 490T, both made of Gibson and made in USA. So here are the uh, cables or wires from uh, EMG. The longest one is for um, neck position and the shortest one was for bridge position. This is EMG81. You can see it's um, written by silver color on it and it's also made in USA. So you need to remove this plastic here You must see these three 
golden pins when you connect it to it and this is EMG85 this is for neck position and I will show you you remove this plastic it has three pins and then you find the wire that you need the longest one and you push it like this and then slide it in so for some strange reason when I wanted to um, attach or install or put these pickups back into the frames my camera um, did it in or recorded it in a slow motion and that was funny I just found it when I when I was going to edit them the movie so here is the final result and still in slow motion As you can see, there is something also written on bridge position. I already installed uh, AMG85 in neck position and I just need to fix it. And the longest wire that I have that I had from EMG was not that long. It's I, I thought it's going to be a little bit problem later. And you can see um, now I try to install uh, EMG81 in neck position. So I put it back like this, and the wires came off at this position. So I put on the left side the volume um, shaft and on the right side the tones and the difference is that uh, volume shaft have uh, six pins while the tone shaft has just four pins so I take a knot use it like this and I decided it should be like one inch from the top of the shaft and then I use this locking washer from this side you put it like this and if you are satisfied with the size then you use this washer on top of it and then you need to use another knot and you may you can you can make it tight with whatever tool you have i just use this uni wrench and make it tight and of course you need to check inside um, i wanted to make sure that these pins facing each other that make it easier in the next a stage of the work when you want to connect these cables um, i already connect the volume and tone on uh, bridge position so this is um, my neck position and as i mentioned before you need to see those golden pines when you connect a cable in this system in this system of electronics on the other hand it means that black wire it always should be on the left side And for output jack, you need to connect the black wire to the uh, to the connection in the middle. 
in my opinion it's the medium one and you need to connect the white wire to the longest one and the last but not least is the battery uh, you connect it to the shortest one And if you like, you can use your screwdriver like this. You just put um, the locking washer on this side and put it through like this. And you use the washer and not to make it fixed on its place like this. Off the screen, I just put this boss here um, some would say it's a strategic place and then you need to connect your bridge and uh, neck volume uh, to the black part of this boss and you cannot see here but it is written that which place is for bridge and how you must connect it as I mentioned before you have to be careful that the black wire is on the left we do the same on neck position and the last one is output jack I just double check then I, I forget to tell you I put the tape on um, neck position so I would be able to tell the difference but here as I mentioned before the, the longest wire was still short even though I put this um, volume control or volume shaft or knob um, here closest one to the hole but I still need to remove the tape um, to make it longer and I just connect it like this so I'm hoping that it doesn't damage the wire and all of the red wires should be connected to the boss like this I will do the same for bridge position and last but not least is a battery um, and after that I was going to remove all of those wires that came from pickup selector to to figure it out which wire is which uh, which was exactly what was in the map of the EMG so I did the project like this it happened off screen and it, it took two hours because I need some I had some difficulties with these wires here because of the size of the wires so here's the final result again apologize for it happened again off screen so I need to connect this to the battery and I just need a cover to cover all of these wires and we're done here so thanks for watching this video smash the like button subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends